Hi friends, today I brought you out into the yard to show you some of the blooms and blossoms that are starting to show up now in the springtime. Here you can see one single tulip sprouting out from the ground. You can see the long stem, the petals on the flower, and even the leaves at the bottom. Here are some beautiful purple little bells, I call them, because if you get in real close, they look like a little bell-shaped flowers and they smell beautiful. Over in this part where my neighbor is growing all different fruits and vegetables. Right now it's just dirt and leaves sprouting, but soon there'll be tomatoes and carrots and peppers and potatoes and cucumbers for a good Here's snack. another pretty blossom of flowers. This beautiful plant are, is called petunias. Don't they look speckled and spotty? I love the colors of Another that. sign of spring, butterfly. Of course, that one's just fake on my glass door, but real ones are outside all the time. Weren't those such pretty signs of spring all around us? The weather's getting nice. There's lots of beautiful butterflies and beautiful plants are sprouting out all over. I love the flowers and we're gonna use the flowers to practice some subtraction today. And we'll do some rhyme time, but first let's say hello to all my friends out there. Hello to Joan. Hello to Daniel. Hello Sebastian. How are you? Hello to Christopher. Hello to Brayden. Hello to Jake. How are you? Hello to Tyler. Hello to Sean. Hello to Mia G. How are you? Hello to Isabella. Hello to Mia S. Hello to Laura, you silly girl. How are you? Hello to Cheyenne. Hello to Maddie. Hello to Savannah. How are you? How are you friends today? Welcome to another Wednesday of being wacky. Some of those names were being wacky and they were upside down today. Let's begin with calendar and then we'll start to do some important work. Hey, 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 it's May, May, May. What do you say, say, say? Rhyming words, hey, may, say. Here we are in the month of May. M-A-O-Y spells May. I want to hear you count out there in TV land with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. This is a tricky one. It's not a teen anymore. It changes to, did you say? To 20? Two zero, two zero, twenty. Today is the 20th. And now the next number you can figure out, even if you haven't memorized it, which I know you have, but if it's a two and a zero today, what will be next? Well, what comes after zero? One. So what would come after two zero? two, one, and that would be 21. Tomorrow will be May 21 or 21st. But today it is Wednesday, May 20th. How I know it, right up there. There's the W, and if I sing to it, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, May 20th. Hey, boys and girls, we've been getting really good and we count every day. But what if we tried to count our calendar backwards? That means in the other direction. Would you like to try and count backwards with Miss Dawn? I will point to those numbers so you can keep up and we'll start with 20 and go backwards. Here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 
15, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, blast off! I really like showing off those flowers to you. Now it's time for some flower subtraction. So I have sent this beautiful sheet filled with pretty flowers to your house so you can get this ready and work with me or do it with me on the TV and then you can work on the sheet later on. Okay, my little math geniuses, time to do subtraction. Remember, we talked about adding and subtracting. Now, adding, if Miss Dawn can find her cards, it must be Wacky Wednesday because Miss Dawn can't find her cards. Here they are. Remember that we talked about the plus sign. There it is, plus sign. That means we're taking two things and putting them together and we're going to have more. But then we talked about the one single line, the subtraction sign, the minus sign. That means we're taking something away. And then of course the equal sign gives us the new answer. So let's look at our spring flowers. In the first box, let's count the flowers together, those pretty pink flowers. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight pink flowers. And if you look right there, there's the number eight. But it says eight minus four. Eight minus four. So that means, what are we gonna do? Minus. We are going to take away four flowers. So if you have a marker or a pen, a good way to do this would be to look at those eight and let's cross out four flowers because we have to minus four. Eight minus one, two, three, four flowers. We've taken away, we've crossed out four flowers. Let's count what's left. One, two, three, four. Eight minus four equals four. There it is right there, eight minus four equals, so next to the equal sign, you will write the number four. Miss Dawn has her whiteboard to help you remember how to write the numbers. It's on the sheet, but watch Miss Dawn write the number four. She goes down and across like the letter L and then puts a line right down the middle. That is your number four. Eight minus four equals four. So we're gonna write that right there in that box. Eight minus four equals four. All right, let's try again. I need my eraser for the board. Things just disappear around Miss Dawn. Let's erase that and move on to the next flower box, right next to the one we just did, which has orange flowers. Let's count them to be sure what we're starting with. One two, three, four, five orange flowers. And there's the number five right there. And it says five minus three. Five minus three equals, we have to figure that out. So let's take away or cross out three flowers from those five. One, two, three flowers are now out there. And let's see what we have left. One, two. So we know that five minus three equals two. Watch Miss Dawn write that number two. She kind of starts like she's going to make a circle. Yeah, but she goes down on the angle and when she gets to the bottom, she slides across. It's like a half a heart with a line at the bottom. Five minus three equals two. Two, let's write that in the box. Five minus three equals two. Guys, you're doing subtraction. Next one, pretty yellow flowers. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten yellow flowers. There it is right there, ten. 10 minus 
six, six. We need to take away, cross out, six. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now let's see what's left over. What does it equal? One, two, three, four. Four again. Let's do it again. Remember, Miss Dawn showed you four. It's like an L. But then we draw a line right through the bottom, and that gives us the number four. Let's put that right after the equal sign. Ten minus six equals four. On to the pink flowers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There it is, nine, nine minus, or take away, five. Let's cross out five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see how many is left. One, two, three, four. Four again. That four is pretty popular. Let's write it again in this space. All right, boys and girls, you're doing great subtraction. Two more to go, and we'll do some story. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven pink flowers. There they are. There it is. Seven minus two. Let's take away two flowers. One, two. Now we count what's left. One, two, three, four, five. There is five flowers left. Seven minus two equals five. Here we go on the whiteboard. Watch Miss Dawn. She's going to slide this way towards her face. Then she's going to go down like an upside down L. Then she's gonna make a belly. There's your number five. Seven minus two equals five, and you will write five in that spot. Okay, last but not least, the blue flowers. Here we go. Let's count those blue flowers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight blue flowers. There's that snowman eight right there. Minus six. It wants us to take away six flowers. Let's take them away. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many flowers do you see left? That's an easy one. I only see one, two, two flowers left. One more time on the whiteboard for the number two. Starts off like a heart. Yeah, but when we get down to the bottom of the heart, we slide over. And there's your number two. Write that in the space. Great work today. That was some hard stuff. So put down your markers and relax, and let's get into our springtime story today. Who's awake in springtime? Remember, boys and girls, we talked a lot about animals that hibernate and they sleep until spring. Well, guess what? Spring is here, and those animals are coming out and enjoying the nice weather. So let's read our story and see some of the animals that are awake in springtime. Down, down goes the sun, and down in the sea, fish find a safe place to hide. Who's asleep? Not I, said the minnow. In a pond by the sea, ducks tuck their heads under their wings. Who's asleep? Not I, said the duckling. In the tall green grass, next Next to near the pond by the sea, turtles pull their heads and tails into their shells. Who's asleep? Not I, said the little turtle. Turtles. 
in a garden near the grass, near the pond by the sea, bees buzz home. Who's asleep? Not I, said the busy bee. In the branches of a leafy tree, near the garden, near the grass, near the pond by the sea, birds nest in their nests. Who's asleep? Not I, said the baby. In the patch of clover, near the leafy tree, near the garden, near the grass, near the pond by the sea, cats curl up and close their eyes. Who's asleep? Not I, said the kitten. In a bush, near the clover, near the leafy tree, near the garden, near the grass, near the pond by the sea, caterpillars spin their silken beds. Who's asleep? Not I, said the small green caterpillar. Over in the meadow, where wildflowers grow, up, up comes the moon, and down below, near the bush, near the clover, near the leafy tree, near the garden, near the grass, near the pond by the sea, sheep huddle and cuddle in their warm wool coats. Who's asleep? Not I, said the lamb. Not I, not I, said the sheep all said. Not I, not I, we want to play. Sheep follow sheep, jumping high, jumping low. Sheep follow sheep, now where did they go? To sleep, to sh sleep, the sheep went to sleep. Then who's awake? Not the sheep, not the caterpillars, not the cats, not the birds in the leafy tree, not the bees, not the turtles, not the ducks, not the fish down in the sea. Everyone is tired from their busy spring day. Is anyone awake? I am, I am. Then come jump into bed, my sweet little lamb. Good night. So many wonderful animals and creatures that we see in the springtime. Turtles and bees and maybe sheep if you visit a farm. Uh, flowers. I know we don't like the buzzing bees, but they're part of spring and they don't want to bother you if you don't bother them. But I wanted to talk about some of the words in our story. I have tree and sea, tree and sea. I see bed and head. I see Mm, blow and grow. What kind of words are those? Head, bed, below, grow. Sheep, sleep. Do you remember what we call those words that end the same? Rhyming words, boys and girls. Rhyming words, we talked about them on Monday. We are going to practice a couple of more rhyming words with this fun little sheet that should have gone to your computer. Before we can do it though, we need to cut out those one, two, three, four, five, six fun pictures at the bottom. And when we're ready, we'll get our glue stick and we'll do it together. Okay, friends, Miss Dawn has cut out all her pictures and she laid them out so that she could see each of those pictures, which is a good idea if you can lay them all out. And we're going to look at the first picture on our worksheet. And it's a picture of a cat. Cat is C-A-T. Now remember that we said that most rhyming words end with the same letters or definitely with the same sounds. Cat is C-A-T. 
I want you to look at all the pictures that you cut out and see if you can find the picture that rhymes with cat and ends with the same two letters, A, T. Let's look at those pictures. Frog, cat. Hug, cat. Star, cat. Run, cat. Hat, cat. B, cat. Which one do you think rhymes? Did you say hat? Let's check it out close up. There's that A-T at the end, just like in cat. Cat and hat are rhyming words. So cat goes in the box, I mean hat goes in the box next to the cat. And you can see A-T, A-T at the end. Rhyming words that have the same ending sound. The next word is bug. Bug, B, U, G. We are listening for a word that ends the same as bug and has that U, G, ug sound at the end. Let's say them. Frog, bug. Hmm. Hug, bug. Star, bug. Run, bug. B, bug. Which one has that? sound at the end. Bug. Did anyone say it? Did I hear someone say hug? Hug. Let's look close up. B-U-G. Hug is H-U-G. It has the same ending. Hug and bug are rhyming words. Put that right in the box next to bug. All right, the next one is a dog. Dog is spelled D-O-G. Dog, that og at the end, dog. Let's see, frog, dog. I think I heard it on the first word. Let's look at frog up close. Does it have an O-G at the end? It does. Dog and frog are rhyming words. Let's pop that square right next to the dog because dog and frog are rhyming words. All right, the next one is sun. Mr. Sun, sun, Mr. Golden Sun. S-U-N spells sun. S-U-N, un, sun. Let's see, we only have three left. Star, Sun. Well, those start with the same letter, but that doesn't mean they rhyme because rhyming words end the same. Run, sun. I heard it. Run, sun. Let's just try this last one. B, sun. Let's look at run. Run, sun. And guess what? It ends the same. R U N S U N. Run and sun are rhyming words. So let's take that square. That shows a boy running and put it right next to the sun. Run and sun are rhyming words. Two left and the next picture is a car, 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 star or car and B. Oh, I can hear you shouting. I hear you shouting star, star. Let's just double check. C-A-R spells car. Let's look close up. At star, there's the A and the R, just like in car. Star and car are rhyming words. Let's put the star next to the car. And now we have an easy peasy lemon squeezy. We only have one left and it's a tree. Tree is spelled T-R-E-E. -E. There's that E sound at the end. And guess what? B has two E's at the end. B and tree are rhyming words. Put that last square there. And you have done all your work today and you've done a great job subtracting and rhyming today. But now it's time to sing a little fun song. Get ready, I'm going to sing. Or you can cover your ears. No, don't do that. Okay, friends, behind me you can see my frog friends. One, two, three, four, five frog friends. And we're gonna sing a song about those frog friends and they're gonna go away like subtraction. They're going to leave 
and let's see what happens with my five green pencil frogs. They're five green pencil frogs because they're holding pencils. Let's sing. Five green pencil frogs sitting on a great big log eating some most delicious flies. Mm -mm. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are one, two, three, four green pencil frogs. Four green pencil frogs sitting on a great big log eating some most delicious flies. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are three green pencil frogs. Three green pencil frogs sitting on a great big log eating some most delicious flies. Mm -hmm. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green pencil frogs. Two green pencil frogs sitting on a great big log eating some most delicious flies. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green pencil frog. One green and pencil frog sitting on a great big log eating some most delicious flies. Yum, yum. He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green pencil frogs. The end. Okay, friends, I have one more little squishy frog friend that's here to help me say goodbye and tell you that I will see you on a video on Friday and a Zoom on Friday. But I would like to give you a challenge. I would like you to use things around your house. You can use paper plates. You can use colored paper. You can use crayons and markers. You can even use real sticks and leaves from outside and some glue. And I would like you to create a really pretty flower bloom for Miss Dawn because she loves to look at all the flowers. So you can be creative, you can draw it, you can make it out of Play-Doh, you can make it out of whatever you want, but I'd love for you to share your beautiful flower blossom on Friday Zoom with me. Have a great day and I'll see you on Friday. Bye friends. Bye friends. Ribbit, ribbit. <laughs>